Good morning everyone! It's Melody Lane here and I'm going to do some Cricut Craft Room tutorials. So this is my Cricut Craft Room open but I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you the CricutCraftRoom.com first. And let's go back. Okay, this is the Cricut Craft Room website, Cricut.com. What I like to do is log in. And I already have these set in there and saved on my browser, so I'm going to click sign in. Okay, now if you've never been to the Cricut Craft Room, I suggest you like go through all these things. The message board is awesome for helps and tips and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and click on it because then you go to here. And I'm a member of the Cricut Circle which is right here, but you don't see this unless you're a member of the Cricut Circle. For those of you wondering, here's a sneak peek at the wet, at the Cricut Circle message board. And right here is where it's more popular. And then this right here where it says Cricut Chat is the most popular. See, someone posted about a minute ago. That is the most popular chat or forum on the Cricut Craft Room. And then this is Cricut Craft Room application, and this is where you can go if you have problems and stuff. This, you'll get an answer quicker at Cricut Chat. So that's that, but we're not here for that. So let's go back to the Cricut Craft Room. I suggest you sign in. You can hit login, and if you don't have an account, you can sign up for one. And that is the same account you use for Cricut.com and Cricut Craft Room. And click over here on PC or Mac, whichever computer you have. And as soon as you click on that, it's going to start to download. So I'm not going to click on it. So once you have it downloaded, when you install the Cricut Craft Room, it might ask you if you need the Adobe Air installed. And if you want to use Cricut Craft Room, hit yes to Adobe Air. Cricut Craft Room will not work without it. And sometimes antivirus software will not let Cricut Craft Room work, and you have to set it as an exception. Mine will ask me, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? And I hit yes. There is no spyware. There's nothing else. This is free software, but it's, it's not adware, and it's totally safe. So it's initializing Craft Room. And I always click this. Well, I always make sure this is checked so it remembers me so I don't have to type this in every time. And this is the account you use for the Cricut.com. Click sign in. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go over a run through of this really quick. Okay. This will show my cartridges. If you've never used Cricut Craft Room, you will see Cricut Craft Room basics in here. And you might also see a few other cartridges that are free this week. Because every week there are some free cuts or cartridges available. There's also Cricut Mini. I think I got these when I registered my Cricut Mini. So if you have a Mini, register it. I'm not sure if you'll get these or not. I don't know how that works. Those kind of just showed up one day. So these are all the Cricutages I have, and they're all in bold. And you can work with all the cart cartridges, and you'll see the ones I own are in bold. But I can use the ones I don't own. I think I want to buy this one. This is the Gnomes. I think I can make Smurfs with it. See, there's a little beard for Papa Smurf. Cute little face. And if I want to buy it, I can click buy right here. It'll bring up Cricut.com shopping cart. And put it in your shopping cart, and then you can purchase it if you like. 